Okay, here we are at the, our Black's Grove Woodlot in Mariahville, early May, on our, uh, I think it's our fifth annual white pine weevil spraying. If you, we see if you can look at the phenology of the pine tips, They're, the buds are just breaking, the candles are out about maybe the one inch, and we're in a place uh, that when we bought this property in uh, 2012 was just an open gap with no regeneration. Uh, in 2015, 16 rather, we planted it to white pine. And here we are, what, uh, eight years later, the trees have reached, uh, both, many of them are up about 16 feet. And this will probably be the last year we'll be able to treat them. And even this is a bit of a stretch. And I'll, so, uh, I want to show, last year we did film, a, uh, record a video on spraying with tall trees with some new, with our telescoping wand. We've made four or five uh, new tweaks here in the spray equipment, which I think has helped. We've been spraying about an hour here. The first is I've added a pressure regulator to the handle. It's solo cells, they just basically screw onto the handle. And this is a good way to keep your pressure um, constant or about the same, so you once you get once you get a feel for the pumping and what works best, then you can just glance at this while you're spraying because it's right facing upward and you can uh, and keep it at that. I've been using whatever the two is on this scale. I don't have any idea what the units are. Um, so there's that. So this is a telescoping wand here that we have um, that goes out like thus, this is carbon and very lightweight. So this, this weighs nothing. So this gets us out. Um, we measured it, it's a total of 10 feet from the end of the, where the spray hose starts to the end of the nozzle, right? Now that includes, so that, that's about eight feet, that telescoping piece. And then, then we added, Solo also stalls these uh, shorter, just extension wands, which I've, I think is, while it's only two feet, has made a big difference in allowing me to get up a, a full 16 feet off the ground, because my arm when I'm spraying like this is about six feet. Um, so this is helpful. So this is new, this piece here, this two foot wand. We also have on the spray, the nozzle here, I've been using a cone nozzle, which is just a, which, a cone spray pattern, which is just a single point in the nozzle. Talking to Max McCormick after he watched last year's video, he says you should probably use a fan nozzle, which if you can see that is a little slit, which you, you can use, you, we use a lot for foliar spraying because it puts out a wider fan, but oriented vertically so that when you're spraying, the, the, the spray pattern is, is, a, is, a, is a, a fan that sprays vertically. So it's aligned with the leader, the terminal shoot of the white pine. So this is working also very well. Much more of the spray is landing on the target. And then finally, because this actually, this wand actually holds a fair quantity of liquid, um, you don't want this running back down into the sprayer after each time you spray a tree and you walk to the next one. So Solo also makes um, a clever check valve. This is only like $6. Uh, they're hard to find. It's just a little, this is what it is. It has a screen in it, which is a filter, but it also has a little valve in there that prevents the fluid from draining back down into the hose. So isn't that nice? So that just goes right below the nozzle head on the end of the spray wand, and you just turn that on there. So those are the tweaks um, that all, you know, like everything else, if you sweat the details here, the work can go from sort of mediocre, painful to uh, pleasant and uh, effective. So. We're gonna pause the video and then I'm gonna spray a few trees. Okay, we're back, we're ready to spray. Again, this is the Solo 425 workhorse backpack sprayer. It's got the good professional harness, which is a mandatory investment because it's just because of the comfort. This, these things are relatively heavy when they're full because they're four plus gallons. We got the wand extended fully. And the idea is to is to just wet down the terminal shoot the long new buds that's that is broken and then the last year's terminal. So I'll just point here before I spray. There's the bud on this tree, and then we're gonna wet this down here because that the weevil is emerging from the ground, the adults, and they fly around a little bit and then they land at the very top of the tree, lay their eggs, and then the larvae hatch out and girdle that shoot, which is what why we're treating it. So we by putting this in Calstar insecticide out here. 
we will hopefully kill these weevils either directly or when they start to feed on the shoot. So here we're gonna we're just gonna wet down this one. Watch the spray. See the fans coming out, so we just wet it down. That's all you need to do. Come over here. Do this one. Oh, right there. Here we got a really tall one. Let's see if we can get it. So right at the limit. That's just right at 16 feet. One saw log. I gotta use two hands here. We got, we got easily a three foot leader there to treat. Pump a little bit. So here, get this one. All right, one more here. A giant one. Oh boy, that one really is out of me, isn't it? Maybe not. Do what we can. Okay, one more here. For the... This one's good. See that last two foot e extension is really helpful here, allowing me to get up to the 16 foot, which is of course one saw log. So I think we're, this is satisfying. This is the last year we're going to be able to treat these.